Yeah. The next year. Well, we'll have a full report on that on Midlands today this evening at 6.30. But now the lunchtime weather. Here's Shefali. Thank you very much, Kay. Well, autumn is here in all its glory. Some call it cool, but I like to call it bracing and invigorating, especially so in the stronger winds today. Now, there are some showers around, but they seem to be congregating up towards the north and the west of the region. But they're being ushered along quite quickly by those strong northwesterly winds. And there is some dry weather in between and some sunshine as well. But the temperatures today are up to 13 or 14 Celsius. Now that's almost half what we had at the start of the week when we had highs of 28. So it's also that paired up with the strength of the winds that is making it feel even colder. Now the gusts could uh, reach speeds of around 40 miles per hour over any higher ground but they tend to ease a little bit overnight and we lose those showers as well. There's just a little trickle still being maintained through the Cheshire Gap through the northwest there but uh, the high pressure that's building from the southwest starts to kill them off. We've got some clearer spells as well. Temperatures dropping to lows of around 8 or 9 Celsius overnight so as cool as last night and then a bit chilly to start with tomorrow but that high pressure still maintaining largely dry conditions again we could just see a few showers just trickling in from the northwest but temperatures rise to about 15 or 16 celsius tomorrow so slightly higher and the winds will ease down they slacken off but uh, still noticeable at 15 miles per hour and that's all for now. Later we'll be reporting from Chasewater Reservoir in Staffordshire where at long last repair work has finally been completed to restore water levels. There'll be more on that in Midlands today at half past six on BBC One but from all of us here at lunchtime. Bye-bye. Have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye.